Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. Listen, it's an emergency. It's an emergency. Up Church has uploaded new music. All right, let's give it a listen. This is Up Church featuring T2 Lingo. I'm so excited. Let's listen to what he has to say. <laughs> that came in almost like a caribbean beat dun, dun. like i really thought this was going to be like a caribbean song beat vibe but what's happening i'm already in in, in deep into it i'm going to rewind it just a little bit because i'm really trying to hear I'm really trying to listen Inside peanut butter, outside jelly. If you know, you know. Did you hear what he just said, though? Hold on, I'm gonna run it back for you so you can hear it. Hold on, hold on. Inside demon lover, outside jealous. Okay. Nah, the production on this one is <laughs> out the park, out the park, out the park, out the park. Do you hear the production on this? This beat? Who who did this? Kalani and Kalani on the beat. Kalani on the beat. Kalani, Kalani on the beat. You did it with this one. This beat is nasty. <laughs> Shout out to H-Town. Shout out to H-Town. Shout out to H-Town. Listen, so I do this thing where I listen to something for the first time. And the next time I listen to it, it has to get the ride test. Like, does it ride? And what I mean by that is, can I listen to it in the car and it rides? Like, for me, in my own personal Assess, assessment of a song of an album is how well it rides in the car some albums some songs ride in the car some are just not for that right does it ride can i put it on in the car and just immediately feel relaxed like let me let me nestle into my seat i'm gonna lean back a little bit my head is going that's how i know something is riding listen i don't have to put this on in the car to know this rides do you hear this do you hear this it's immediate eh, uh, Oh, eh, eh. I don't know who this T2 kid is, um, but him and Upchurch together on a track is a problem. This is problematic.
locked into the lingo i'm locked into the beat i'm i'm I, i'm in i'm locked in that song i almost wish he waited to drop it at, at like right before the summer because this is such a summer bop you know what i mean sometimes there are songs that like hit different in the summer and for me i feel like this is something i would all the windows down headed to the beach they don't know the lingo and that's okay y'all wow you you got one with this one, Upchurch. You you have something here, sir. Sir, you 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 did it big with this one. This one is and it's mixed and mastered so well. This sounds like something that has backing from a from a from a uh, major label. Like the quality, Chef's Kiss, top tier. This was this was this was one. This was one. This this was one. <laughs> I like I'm kind of shook because, you know, I'm just getting into the upchurch, um, falling into the rabbit hole. And I think I've experienced a lot of his older music. I don't think I've tapped into what's the most current and recent. And if this is what upchurch is is sounding like now or this is where the direction he's going in. He's hey, he struck gold. He has struck gold. This is this is phenomenal. This is radio ready. This is this is ride in the car ready. This is this is club ready. Put this on in the club. Put this on. Let that beat drop in the club. Everybody can be like, they don't know the lingo and that's okay. Put it on in the club. I dare you. I dare you. Put it on Instagram. Put it on TikTok and tag me because I know it's going to be a banger. I know it for sure. Uh, yeah, up church, you got one here. And I'm literally going to stop this video and run it back really, really loud. I might go down to the car and, and listen to it because sheesh. Sheesh. Did you hear me? Sheesh. All right, y'all. Go have the day you deserve. Peace.